We sit and talk, I see your crying eyes Turning red through the day I share my mind with no censorship Hang it all up to dry A teardrop hanging from your upper lip G'day everybody, Steve from Mud Ducks Touring Australia with another spotlight on campgrounds. Today we're at the Coles Bridge camping area. So I'll give you a quick look at it because you don't need to look at my mug there. Okay, so as you'll see, uh, they've got a bit of a drive-in clip coming up in part of this. So you'll see that shortly. In fact, You'll see that now. On the Turindale Road, which leads us to Coles Bridge Campground. It's a nice bitumen road, so anything you drive it, it's a big enough bitumen road, so it looks caravan friendly. For those with caravans. A lot of gates in the paddocks at the side, I don't know if you getting those on camera at all guys. This is a nice normal bitumen road. We're two kilometers roughly from the Coles Bridge camping area. So we'll show you that when we get there. According to my device on the dash that you'll probably hear in a minute, I'm 500 odd metres from Coles Bridge camping area. That bit of road there seems to be near. I think that's the way we've come out when we've done the bridge to bridge track. Yeah, it is. So we're approaching the Coles Bridge camping area, which I believe is, looks like it's going to be on the other side of Coles Bridge. So, I uh, don't know if it's a proper campground. I don't know what it Looks means, like it oh, might be. This is going to be further face. according to the GPS. And I see the bridge there is sort of just not much in the way of camping. Arriving at destination on left. Okay, we'll see. I have a funny feeling that the GPS might be a bit out of whack, but we'll see. can't see anywhere on the left that you call the camping area. There's a bit of a track here to the right. So we've been on bitumen all the way and now we're coming down a dirt track. We'll follow it. It looks like it might be a way to get to some camping. There's certainly pretty sure there's things camped down in here, so just going to give way to these guys and keep going down, having a bit more of a look. So that's a two-wheel drive van and a little Subaru. So that says you should be able to get down here in nearly anything. Looks like it might be a bit more across the river anyway. We'll, we'll have a look at it. Uh, just driving down this road, if you come down here carefully, it looks like two wheel drive's no trouble. Obviously, four wheel drive, camper trailers. Off-road varieties, off-road caravans. If you drive gently, looks like on-road caravans. So, 
Yeah, it looks pretty reasonable. So I'll pull up and go for a walk around it. Right, so now you've seen the road and the drive in, we'll take you for a walk around it. As you can see, it's a little muddy bit here. Now, this campground, from what I've seen in the drive around part, has no facilities. So you've got to be self sufficient. But I could be wrong, well, we'll discover that as we go. All right, where I'm going here is from the drive when I first came in, you just follow the road around to the left and it takes you right around up to here. So up here is a uh, elevated site that will keep you away from the water's edge. Everything about this area screams riverbank, which it is. So we've got river rocks all under my feet here. But this site's nice and high. It's got a bit of grass on it. It's got a bit of shade. It's got a few fire scars. So what I'm doing at the moment is walking around to the left. As you can see, there's some wheel tracks here. And uh, you can certainly bring your car in definitely bring camper trailer off-road one particularly you certainly come in here yeah up oh, that way appears to be a four-wheel drive track probably not meant to be one but who knows anyway discover that for yourself and then this to me right here where we are looks like it'd be a fantastic spot with an off-road van. Yeah, that view of the river and uh, you're up here, you got some shade. It's hard to win, hard to pin one day. I look out for you to soothe away the blue. Now, no point of walking back the way I came up. There's a four-wheel drive track here, which continues on from that four-wheel drive track we're looking now. Looking at this four-wheel drive track, it's got wombat holes. So I'd suggest you'd wanna, whoop, gimbal's got a bit nuts, sorry guys. I'd suggest you'd want to lower your tyre pressures to drive this, but yeah, I dare say people have done it with their tyres fully inflated and that doesn't help. But anyway, you walk down here, as you can see, it's a Subaru, sort of just there, we've got a little Pajero Sport over here, uh, these guys look like they're panning for gold. And why not in that area? So you could camp, provided you keep tabs on the weather around where that Subaru is without too much problem, I think. And here's your wheel tracks that you used to get here. Now this is all downhill from where that camp was. That camp that I was just at is just there. So. Uh, that's uh, one camp. This is all river rock camping, so tents and swags are always going to be a challenge, guys, in these kind of environments. But um, obviously, no reason why you can't do it. Carve a rooftop tent would be fantastic. Just got to try and get level. Uh, and obviously, camper trailers and that so on. So, here on the wheel track. You go under this shady bit here, so you probably don't want to camp there because you've been in people's way. But if you wanted to camp in the sun, uh, give your solar a good run over there on that bend. 
Now, as I said before, bear in mind, this is a river bank. So pay attention to the weather when you're camping in these areas. Check the rain, all that stuff. Another little four wheel drive track gets you back up to the way I walked around. But what I'll do is I'll keep walking around the edge of the river here. So you pretty well camp anywhere through this bit, I'd say. No reason why you can't. And there's a reasonable track. Now, obviously all this part of the river is going to be better suited for four wheel drives. But there's no reason or you can't come to the higher parts in a two wheel drive road car. We saw a van coming out. So there's that. Up here, where this 100 series is, obviously you can camp there. Now I'm not gonna disturb anybody who may or may not be with that. There's a couple of people swimming. So they may be from that. So. It's the same old sound, the common ground. Just that, I'm up on the next level. And you can see where the Land Cruiser is. So you can come around here, choose your own adventure a little bit. But, uh, you definitely camp here near this 200 at any issue. There's lots of fire pits, so you can have fires as long as there's no fire bins. Anywhere around here where I am now, obviously, obviously good for camping. So you'd be fine. So as I said, this is all self-sufficient. So uh, you've got to do everything yourself. Take your own stuff out to bring your own stuff in. And all that. Now, I drove down to this riverbank before. I'll give you another quick look at it on foot. Try not to disturb any campers just there to me left, but here we are at this river. This is this is a brilliant camp spot where, where that guy's got the 79 is perfect. Now that looks like a form of river crossing there. Whether there's another one, I don't know. But you can camp across the river where those other cars are. Must be another one. So there's that. But it's generally just a really nice area. Now this is 15, 20 k's from Safala on the road, or sort of off the main road between Safala and Hill End. So. It's also the, at the end of the bridge to bridge track that you've seen me do a couple of times, both in the wet and not in the wet with Shad and crew. So I'm not sure how you get over there. It must be a river crossing. Might be where I was at that bank near that other camp. Because I can't see the way down to there any other way. But there's certainly two people camped across there. So, don't know how they did that. They would have had to have done that river crossing. So, I dare say it's doable. And looking from what I can see, which is probably more than the camera can see, 
over there is a nice grassy area and it looks large enough for a few groups. I'm not going to attempt that today because there's really no reason for me to. And uh, you know, if the, you be your own judge of river crossings. So well, when you come here, but there's plenty of camping on this side and a reasonable amount over there by the look of it. So I don't know what else to tell you. This is just how it is. So like I said, I might wrap this one up. Otherwise I'm just rabbiting on guys and you're used to me rabbiting on, I know, but you probably don't need it again. So I think I'll just wrap it up. So back on me, and uh, yeah, so that's the Coles Bridge Campground. Looks pretty good. It's free. I'm sure it's free. You'll have seen the Wiki Camps thing uh, by the time you've seen this. So pretty confident it's free, guys. Anyway, that will do me. Hopefully you like this video. If you did like it, put a like on it. it. Really helps the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, click the notification bell. You'll know when a new video comes up. If you want to support the channel, consider becoming a channel member or duck across to the website and grab some of my limited merch. But there will be t-shirts coming in 2024. So, do that go to the website anyway check out how Kaz and I got into all this stuff uh, or as I said join the channel as a channel member if you want to uh, one of the perks is you get early access to the videos anyway that's about it just get out there enjoy the bush places like this and all the best from Steve and Kaz at Mud Ducks Touring in Australia I'm still tripping over my own title. Yeah, how about that? Anyway, cheers from Steve and Kaz at Mud Ducks Touring Australia. We'll see you on the next one. All the best, guys. Oh, did I mention the old hands? I don't think I did. Sorry, old hands. Thanks, as always, for being here watching one of my clips. Jeez, how can I forget that? And to uh, everybody else, Hopefully we'll see you on the next one. All the best, guys. Cheers from Steve and Kaz again at Mud Ducks Touring Australia. We'll see you on the next one. Adding to the Coles Bridge camping area, the part I couldn't work out how to get to is actually on the other side of Coles Bridge. So you cross back over the main bridge and you can drive down this little track and that takes you into where those cars were that I could, or are, that I could see from the other side. So I'm just driving in now. There is people camped down here, so I'm not going to not even going to get out of the car guys let's go a quick look from the car just to show you what there's here but this one's a lot of lantern and blackberries and things there so it's enough space for these two cars there's a little bit more room just down on the left at the river there but as you can see where they are is probably the premium spot a little bit more room down to their left so not very much going on on this side 
Oh, what I did forget to tell you is the activities. I don't know too much about most of the activities in the area. But gold panning seems to be very popular. So I'd suggest that's probably it. Hey anyway, guys, just a little extra bit. We'll catch up with you later. Cheers from Steve and Kaz at Mud Ducks Touring Australia. See you in the next one.